Jeez, that is one long lesson cigar. Jeez, man, what a lucky shot with the syringe. Right through the head. But I assume because I had a cutscene that I get to start there. Thank God. Thank God I cruised through all that other crap. Alright, let's do it. Let's get the guy from a distance there. Let's get you. And you. How many of these are there? There's one right there. There's one over there. Ah, oh, he's just throwing the syringe at me again. Yeah, they keep going up there. That's not good. That might be a better place to snipe from up there, though. If I could get up there myself. And I pretty much have a clean shot on all of them. Ah, oh, yeah, stop and reload. This is your chance, man. You got two of them right in front of you. Mow them down, man. Oh, nice shot. Right over the crates, man. Man, these guys are fast. Yeah, that's right. What the hell is going on with that squirrel in the electric chair, man? Oh, no more? Oh, there is more. Of course there would be more. Alright, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, big daddy. That's right. Freaking Christian Shepherd. What are you doing? All's quiet on the northern front. Okay, now seriously, what the hell is going on over here? Oh my god, this is you? <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Oh, God. Okay. Wait, I have to choose? You're not going to tell me which one? You can't tell me? You can't give me some kind of clue? Well, I'm going to try the right one. Because right is right. No! Oh, no! Can I change that? Is there like another outcome there? Wait a minute. I think it's this one actually. Yeah, I'll sure to that one. It's gonna bring him back to life. Aww. Hey! Pitch black and covered in suit. Oh god. Okay, let's try the other one. Well, there you go. Well, he's still alive, so well, I guess that's good. But let me see. I want to see what's going on in here. It looks like there's a... Oh, that's a head! Somebody's head is in there! It's a discombobulated head! Oh, poor Roger. Wait a minute, he still owes me five bucks. What a jerk. Well, there's five bucks I'll never see again. And to top things off, I'm going to be late for work. Why does this always happen to me? What? Oh, fuck that. <laughs> okay. Uh. Huh. I assume I have to wait until he's reloading and then... Jeez. Ugh! What do I do when I get up there, though? Oh my god, I can only imagine. So it tells me this helmet's not gonna protect me from that. Why does this always happen to me? Why does this always happen to me? Oh, what a... You couldn't pick a better song for this particular soundtrack! I don't know what I'm doing! Oh, jeez, man! He's gonna kill me. He just did. He just killed me. I get to start there, though, don't I? Screw the glass of milk. I get to start there. I don't care about the glass of milk. I get to start there. Yeah, play, baby. I'm gonna play. I don't care how long this recording is. I might just... You know, since I'm coming back from PAX Prime and all, this may be a good time to just put up a half-hour long video. 
I can't see that happening, though, in all honesty. I'm probably going to cut this somewhere. I'm just not sure where yet. Mm. I gotta figure out what to do once I get over there, because he's gonna kill me. I think I was onto something with the rope, but I'm not sure. Maybe I can just whack him upside the head. Now he's moving too fast. Let's get over here if we can. Alright. Well, looks like we got some cover here, so let me try looking around. Looks like there's a furnace! A furnace! <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, you're blowing holes in your supplies, man. Location confirmed. Sending surprise. Uh, I'm thinking it has something to do with the rope, but... Uh. There is something up there. Oh, oh, look at this. Wait a minute. Oh, come on, baby. Tell me this is it. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. Can he reach me up here? Wait, what? what? Oh, I got a... What? Oh, I got a light switch. Oh, man, I had a light switch, dude. Or, I mean, a light bulb. Oh, don't shoot me now. Oh, man, that does a lot of damage. Not surprisingly, it's a freaking Gatling gun. Or, well, some kind of... You know, it's not a Gatling gun, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. I miss you guys so much. I'm sorry it's been so long that I had to go without a video. But, you know, all good things must come back again. Because you know how it is. Ba 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 da 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 da. Jeez, if you're gonna sing Weird Out, you should sing something else, like, you know, My Zipper's Bust. My buckles break. I'm too much man for you to take. Shit. Oh man. Shit. I once he starts shooting you, like you can't stop. Whoa! Whoa! My God. He just knocked my head off. Holy jeez, man! I feel like Bart Simpson. Sounds like that guy at GameWorks. See, there was this GameWorks store. I kind of had an experience there that I wasn't so fond of. And this is probably the worst thing that happened while I was at Seattle. I was at the GameWorks store, and it's like one of those places where it's like an arcade. But uh, you can win tickets from the games, and then you turn in the tickets to get like a prize. So I had this bag with like 1,500 tickets that I collected, because on one of the machines I hit the jackpot for 1,000 tickets, and I was like, oh, well. But I didn't really want to, you know, I didn't want to, because I figured if I turned them in, I'd have to spend them right away, so I wanted to save them and come back up another time. Jeez, man, here we go again. Ah, oh, I can't get up there, man. One more time, one more time, one more time. Oh, he's got such good aim with that thing. And he knocked my head off again. Anyway, so, so I saw this big poster on the wall that said on Thursday nights you could play from 7 until close for $10. And I'm like, well, that's a pretty good deal because normally... Uh, uh. Okay, stop yawning so I can tell my story. Jeez, you're so stupid. See, the thing is normally you could spend like $50 on a set amount of credits. And in the time, you could probably spend like two and a half hours in there on that many credits. Maybe two hours, depending on what you're playing. So it's so for ten dollars to play for four hours, that seemed like a pretty good deal. So I go in there and I spend the ten dollars and I get the card and I start playing. And next thing I know, like two minutes later, I'm out of credits and I'm like, what the heck? Why I thought I had unlimited credits on this thing. And we come to find out, I heard him say to the guy in front of me, so I wasn't gonna bother him about it myself. But it turns out that 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 Thursday deal is only for the games that don't hand out tickets. So I'm like, oh, yeah, because I was going to say, it seemed a little weird that they would let you do that, that they would let you play for four hours. There, we did it, we did it, we did it. No, let's get over there, get over there, get over there, get over there. Oh, wait a second. Holy shit. Oh, man, I'm never going to have time to, oh, my God. Oh, that is so disturbing, man. It's blood splorting out of my neck, man, my jugular vein. How in the world did you have time to actually aim that thing? I got a bazooka! <laughs> so that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, at least maybe if I was safe up there, I tell you. So anyway, you know, so once I realized that the ten dollars didn't apply to games that paid out tickets, I thought, okay, well, as long as I'm here, I'll just go ahead and pay fifty dollars and get you know some odd credits, and we'll just play for a few hours tonight. So anyway, so I went through and played a bunch of different games, and I played this one where it was like a, t a timing game, where you had to stop the block on the when it was directly above the one you were just building or something. And uh, it was for, and then I had like these two Korean girls behind me, like cheering me on. It was so cool. But uh, anyway, okay, down, down, over, over, over. Oh, 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 oh. Well, now he's already got his gun pointed at me, so there's no. There's no hope, man. I guess you gotta wait for him to reload before you do that, too. I don't know. I had quite a bit of time there, though, right after I got there. If I would've pressed B when I got there instead of A, I might have been able to get him. Anyway, so I went around that night and I spent, you know, my $50 worth of tokens. And, um... I can make it to the next one. Ah, I told you I could. <laughs> anyway, well, to make a long story short, I found this one machine. And it was like the one where the wheel spins around and you gotta time the coin drop so that it falls in between one of the holes in the wheel. And, uh... Well, this thing had like a jackpot of 250 tickets. If you could get it into the tiny hole between the... If you could get it into the 20 or the 40 hole. And those holes were really skinny. But I figured out that if you dropped the coin when your preferred target was at 4 o'clock as it was spinning around, it would almost always go into the slot. But my timing wasn't quite good enough to get the 20 and the 40 to get the jackpot, so I just aimed for the second best ones, which were 14 and 28. But then, for some reason, I found out this machine was paying out jackpots to me when I hit 14 and 28. Even though it said you had to hit 20 and 40 to get the jackpot, I was getting the jackpot for hitting 14 and 28. And so, next thing I know, all of a sudden this thing's got 800 tickets spitting out of me. Just for, like, a few coins, and I, oh, I was like, oh my god. So, you know, by then, I real by the time I realized this, I only had, like, 150 credits left. So I just spent the rest of the night playing that game, and I gathered up what must have been close to, well, it was actually close to 10,000 tickets. Shit. Can I, like, is there something else I'm supposed to do? I'm leaving too soon. I don't know, I'm starting to think maybe there's something else I'm supposed to do, because I, oh, I tell ya. No, there's no way I can, oh. But this might be it, this might be it, this might be my ticket. Yeah, I got you that time, you bastard. Is that it then? Oh wait, let's get back down there. I must be having to do something. Oh, do I take command myself? Oh, nice! Oh, man. And now I'm dead. Something got me. Oh my god, that sucks. Ugh. I should have known to pick up the chocolate before I got in there. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I thought I, I thought I had to hurry and get into the seat before, you know, whatever. Oh, is it already killed him for me? Oh, well, geez, thanks, man. You couldn't have possibly made that any easier. Yeah. So anyway, so I finally turned in my tickets, you know, and they look all surprised because they're like, "Oh my god, we got a guy here. We got a customer with under ten thousand tickets here." Now, I can't remember the exact wording. They just said we have a customer here with a, with almost ten thousand tickets. What do you want me to do? So they started asking me if I got all the tickets on that card that I was using that night. And I'm like, well, no, I got about, uh, like, 1,500 of them a couple days ago. And I just brought them back and added them to the ones I want tonight. So anyway, they told me they were going to have to, like, do some investigation. But I would be free to, like, look around and see what they had. But I didn't see any point looking around to see what they had because I already knew what they had. And it was some pretty neat... That's some pretty decent stuff, actually. Like, they actually had a 3DS there you could get for 60,000 tickets. So, at the rate I was going on that one game, I probably could have gotten a 3DS for, like, $200. But, well, of course, then again, they're only 160 now, so what's the big deal? 
but anyway, um... Oh, here, here they come again. Here you come again. Just here you come again. And here I go. Yes, I'm singing Dolly Parton, so sue me. Um, that song is great, though. I'm sorry. Here you come again by Dolly Parton. It's, I don't know what it is, man. Okay, anyway. It's just a mom. It's a mom thing. Anyway, so so they told me they were going to have to go investigate, and I was like, okay, so I guess they're going to get back to me in a minute on whether or not these are legitimate tickets. I mean, I knew they were, well, I don't know if they were really legitimate because of that one, you know, because of that one machine that was paying out jackpots when it wasn't supposed to, and I'm dead. But anyway, so, like, literally, I stood around there for the next 45 minutes waiting for someone to say something to me about whether or not these tickets were legitimate because I wasn't going to bother them about it because they were busy and all, so it's like, oh, well. So anyway, finally, you know, after 45 minutes, I was just like, geez, I, I was getting tired and I was, like, restless and I wanted to go home. I wanted to go back to my hotel, go to sleep. And, like, yeah. So finally, I was just, uh, finally, I just decided it's not worth it anymore and I just left. So I don't know if they ever were looking for me at some point, but I'll tell you. But those were, I mean, uh, to some extent, they were legitimate tickets. I mean, because they did come out of the machines in the arcade. I didn't make the tickets myself or anything. It's not like I'd weighted the bag down with anything else. So, yeah. And this thing is really shaky, I tell you. And I'm already down three life, so... Well, geez, you quit coming out of this side so I can get the other side in a second here? They gotta be coming like crazy. Oh, well, well, they're not, actually. Man, quit zigzagging. What do you think you're doing, man? Okay, looks like they're coming from this end again. Let's try not to move this thing so much. Man, we're just blowing these guys apart. No, don't come over here, please. It almost looks like you don't have to hit him in the head. I should stop shooting until I know I actually have a good shot at it. Man, they're getting right up on top of me now. I think I'm doing a little better, though. Same for whichever one's closest. Yeesh, man, this is, this is taking a, a good bit of concentration. Man, I almost had him that time, man. There's chocolate right next to me. Conquer, just reach over with your last ounce of strength and move the chocolate to your mouth. Oh, man, how long have we been recording? 48, 20. Where's my picture? Oh, okay. Thank God. Thank God. I looked over and I saw a black screen on my capture card, and I was like, oh, man. Yeah, you know how I said I had actually made an order for the Hapage? I never actually made that order, because I was waiting around to see if I could find out some more stuff about it, like, because I actually looked it up, I was going to make the order, but I couldn't f decide, like, which one I wanted to get, because there were, like, several different ones, there's, like, a Black Magic Intensity, which I believe is what Chuck and Conroy uses, and then there was, like, there was also these different variations, so, I wasn't too sure, but since Impola was able to fix mine, um, you know, that actually helped tremendously as so I was able to continue doing this lovely blind LP. And it's, I mean, I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm a very good blind lp -er. Like, I, I know everybody's loving this LP so far, and I'm glad you are. But I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not happy with some of, some of the way... I mean, I'm glad you guys are happy with it, and I couldn't be happier about that, and I know that's what really matters more than anything, is that you guys like it. It's just, I'm not so sure that I'm really happy with it. Like, I just... I feel like there's so much I could have done better. It just feels disjointed and sloppy. And, you know, it feels like I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Which, I guess, is the point of a blind LP. It's just, I'm used to being more organized than this. I'm kind of a perfectionist. And when I start doing scattershot things like this, I, I lose track of what I'm doing, and I don't know what I'm doing, and 
I am doing it, and it's uh, it's it's more confusing than ever, trying to figure out how much to leave in, how much to leave out, and I'm just never too sure. I don't have like a set system where I can just say, okay, you know, show each thing one time and let that be it or whatever, you know. And if I mess up, it's just it happens because well, it just does. But in a blind LP, I mess up so much, you know. And as I said before, that's inevitable, but. Still, can I get off this thing and like go eat and then get back in? I guess so. Well, that actually helps a lot. How about that? A little chocolate right there. Don't shoot the chocolate. Oh, well, gee, I did good that time. Good lord. Did you see that? See, I finished up with full life, man. I don't even, I can't even eat the chocolate because I got full life here. This is the door that just opened, isn't it? Wait, okay, this is the first that... No, no, that's the door over there that just opened. Oh, what's going on in here? I mean... Oh, God, what is this? Am I going to have to remember this? Okay, you put something inside of half of a crab. There's what looks like a little fairy girl of some sort. And then it turns on its side and turns into a saw. Or something. I... What the hell? Is there anything over here? Let's just take a look around. I like exploring. What can I say? I'm a Zelda fanatic. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to fire my guns for fear of setting something off. Oh jeez, I hear the music. I remember... I'm wondering if I shouldn't destroy this stuff so that it won't go through the conveyor belt and come out the other side when I'm in the middle of a battle and help the boss out, or if there is a boss or whatever. What the hell? Oh. It's the smoke. I thought it was a monster coming up from the ground, like that thing in Zelda in the Shadow Temple. <laughs> 